So I will tell you that um, all of these ladies won our IPA contest. Multiple people. And what did they have to do to, to win? So they had to be in the top. Um, they had to be in the top five of our whole team. And, and we gave each IPA. Um, we had a Google Doc. And each thing that they did went into a Google Doc. They had to turn it in daily. So whoever had the most points, the top five got this um, got this training with you. Did so they know what was be or were they just working just in case it? Did they they were just working for some surprise or did they know? I can't remember when you asked me. They knew at the beginning of the month. Um, last month we had um, the top five got a training with uh, Russ and. Oh. Oh, so, uh, okay. Yeah. So there's a, there's a double, uh, Kimberly, the one that's on here, she got the training last month as well. Oh, so, yes. So they, they, uh, they, it's, it's real, it's a big competition now. <laughs> so, so, but they don't know who it's going to be with. So they know that they're getting somebody huge, but they don't know who. So. And who better than you? I mean, my hey, well, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So this, you guys, uh, Jennifer um, and I, we've traveled together and I really got to know her when she got a distributor in Georgia and um, she came down. It, it was actually two, two years ago last month. She came to Georgia and did, a, did an event with us and, um, since then we've gone to, um, Puerto Vallarta together and she didn't get to really enjoy that trip, but, <laughs> but it's just been, um, she's been a dear friend of mine and I watch her trainings and she is the one that I emulate because I want to be where she's at. I love the way that she trains. I love, um, you know, just her knowledge and just the way that she loves on her team. And so I, is my honor to introduce you to, um, ambassador silver ambassador silver, silver ambassador i can't remember silver I can't. ambassador it's hard to keep track oh my gosh silver ambassador um jennifer mckinney well hey girls i see kendra and tammy and kimberly and hillary are here but not on video so it's good to see you guys well that's great i think about some of the people on my team who, if I did an IPA challenge, would just be so faithful and consistent and, you know, not only love competition and a challenge, but are faithful with their business and just what rock stars that those people are. So I can only imagine and assume that you guys are the same on Melissa's team. She is, she is a dear friend. And we, of course we've known each other just through Zingular, but yeah, not until I came down, which is my parents' old stomping grounds actually in Atlanta and kind of locked arms with her to we really get to get connected and then lots of trips which someday again Zingular is going to be able to take us on more trips right um we're just having the faith but it's great to meet you guys I want to hear from each of you really quick though like who you are and what you're about and then that will you know give me some ideas um together of what we can dive into and how we can make the most of our time so Kendra I will start with you I think you're unmuted now so I like your green and blue walls there I'm a big color girl you can't tell that from what I'm wearing today but I love oh is it a play this is actually this is actually my playroom I and I did that tree over there. Very cool. My family tree. Uh -huh. I, all my, <laughs> um, uh, my name is Kendra and I'm um, down two from Melissa uh, and actually have been sort of in a COVID holding pattern this whole year. Um, reaching out to people. I'm a labor and delivery nurse, nursery nurse. And so I'm, I work in the middle of the night. Um, but uh, I've been unfortunately kind of st stuck at a plateau, if you will. And I, I have lots of contacts. I just don't have, I don't know how to close. I don't know how to say, I don't know how to get people to go. All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. I mean, I can get them up to that point. Right. But then they go, mm, and I don't, how to just get them over that edge a little bit um and i feel like that's probably my weak one of my weak points i have a lot of weak points but that's probably my biggest weak point because i feel like if i had more a little oomph that i could get them over the hump and say okay i'm ready to do this i, I would have a nice i would be the director that i want to be what <laughs> what you hit as your highest right at i'm a gold manager but i haven't been able to maintain that for the last several months 
Okay. Um, and I'd like to be a director by the time Zing Fling comes or Zing, yeah, Fling comes around. I just need to get these fence sitters to get off the fence and say, okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've got the same probably 10 people going, yeah, tell me more. Give me some information. I'm like, dude, I've given you information. It's the same thing from the last 15 times that you asked, give me some information. Yep. So, I mean, I'm, I'm to the point, I'm just like, look, either trust me or don't. Um, but let's do this. Let's, let's, as we say in labor and delivery, let's pit or get off the pot. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, that's good. That helps me to know, you know, where you're at and I can understand slumps. I've of course been in them myself and have had many teammates in them. So I can relate. So, okay. Thanks Kendra. That definitely helps. Uh, Tammy, let's go to you next. I can't tell if you're in a workshop, a warehouse, a, first I thought it was something like a farm barn but I don't think it's that. I see boxes. So tell me where you are. I'm fascinated. I think you'll have to unmute yourself unless, Melissa, I don't know if you have controls of that. Uh-oh, where is Melissa? Melissa, can you unmute Tammy? So Tammy, if you tap your screen. Oh, there we go. I did. I got it. I, I was saying this is my first rodeo. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We all have to have our This was kind of spur at the moment. Well, good. Uh, and I just finally got this working on my phone. So I'm happy. Um, yes, I'm at work. I work at a fertilized um, business. We sell fertilized to the farmers. It's really slow right now. So I have lots of time. Time is on my side. Um, I'm a distributor, um, been since early September. Um, I have a couple customers and I'm just doing what, um, oh, my coach is Bria, who is one under Melissa. And I'm just doing everything Melissa tells me to do, okay. period. Because I am going to be Melissa one day. There you go. That is my goal. Okay. So really, Monica. Yeah, I really want to be Monica. I really want to be you. <laughs> yeah, you know so what? Good. That, we have, that's you know, where I'm at. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you got started with her, you know, with your your coach and Melissa's team a couple of months ago. And we got time. That's one of the things people always need a little more of. So if it's on your side right now, we will yeah. make the most of that. So thank you for the introduction. And Kimberly, what about you? And Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, totally. And keep that mute button ready to unmute again. We're going to have a conversation, but you can mute yourself again now. Kimberly, are you decent? Yes. Yeah, so I know we're all ladies on here. I'm actually getting ready for physical therapy. So I just okay. got out of the shower. <laughs> um, no I'm problem. Kimberly Sheets. I'm, I'm, I'm Melissa's third line. Um, I have been with Zingular just a, about a year now. And I my highest rank was director. Um, wow. Yeah. So... Um, but one of the things that I feel like that I've kind of like, I, I had a pretty good team. We were going pretty solid, but I'm an urgent care nurse. And I kind of, you know, June or July lost a little bit of momentum from the stress of work. And, sure. you know, Melissa always says the speed of the leader is the speed of the team. And it's so true. And so when I took my foot off the gas, I felt like a lot of, you know, things fell through, especially one of my big extreme builders. Um, got a little overwhelmed during the whole ship happens and left. Um, so now I'm kind of on the like, you know, I've been maintaining gold and I, you know, gold manager and I want to get back to director and higher. Um, you know, I'm farther. So, I mean, that's, that's not that bad. So that's good. And so my biggest thing is now trying to not only, you know, personal sponsor to get some more, you know, find some good runners and find some new uh, distributors under me. But, um, you know, I feel like I'm struggling with getting my team that I have motivated. Um, a lot of them say that they want it and say that they want to do things, but I'm quickly learning, like Melissa said, that actions speak louder than words. So, you know, I'm kind of in this, like, I don't, you know, I want to keep showing them love, but I'm realizing that I need to start finding some other people for the team too, because, you know, I can't, I can want it for them as bad as I do, but unless they want it, it's not going to happen. Um, so, you know, I have a good group of, of people, but it's just like trying to find a way to motivate them. And then also I would like to up my personal sponsoring more. Um, I'm 
pretty consistent with like anywhere from five to nine a month, but more on the five or six a month. And I would much rather that be up, you know, so I'm doing everything Melissa says. I'm doing the IPAs. I'm adding to the adventure page and adding to my audience on my page and stuff. But just, I know you personal sponsor out the roof. So I am like very, very, very uh, curious to hear. Um, tips, yeah. Yes. That, that's, and right. I mean, I love all the other aspects of it, but if you don't have a bunch of people to work from to begin with, how are you going to find that next leader? So that's one of the things I love is I don't necessarily, you know, okay, I get 40 bucks, 80 bucks. That is awesome. But I have much longer term vision and I need a lot of those people. And part of it is just a lot of different you know, things that I've honed over the years. But yeah, I love talking about sponsoring and, and five to nine is great. That's great. I have people that are, you know, zero to two, but um, it's always good to improve. Right. So, right. Right. So thank okay. you for your time. Oh, totally. I, I appreciate you guys waiting to schedule it. I, when Melissa had asked me, I said, yes. And then I was like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm on like a two week trip. And then we came back and of course it was Thanksgiving. So I'm, I'm I appreciate you guys making this time work and, and waiting for me. Um, Hillary, you are last, but certainly not least. And I want to, before you go to Hillary, I, I just have to shout out Kimberly that she did earn the founders club trip. So, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, yeah, she's like, I'm trying to get dressed, but yes. Okay. Thank you. That is that, that deserves shout it out. That's amazing. Congrats, Kimberly. Hello. Hi. Um, this is awesome, by the way. I'm really excited. I'm uh, I'm really new to the business, to Zingular period. I ordered in the very end of June, didn't get started until August. So um, the end of last month, I just hit director. And yeah. um, in the very beginning, I pretty much did it all by myself with just per personal sponsoring, not really, didn't really have a team, yeah. but I'm That's very excited. I'm very excited to say that I um, finally have some good people under me that I think are really going to do well. So. Quick start or anyone hit manager? Have you had some of that? I had two hit manager last month, two hit their quick start. Uh, one, unfortunately, is my second line um, and she's killing it. But um, happens, it happens. Yeah. Hey, better there than nowhere on your team. Yeah. So. And so I'm really proud of her. And, uh, like I said, I just, I've recently gotten some good ones on my team that I think are really going to do well and help me grow. And, um, so that it's not all just inception points <laughs> and right. so you, that, can't, can't sustain, you know, that's not a sustainable way to stay a director and then to launch into the executive ranks. Right. You know, exactly. It's a good, start building a business, but it's a mindset shift, which is unfortunately one of the, I don't want to say curses because I don't believe in curses, but also it's not always true, but it's one of the um, risk factors with someone who is extreme builder. It can be really typical, unfortunately. And I think um, maybe was it, who was mentioning that Kimberly, maybe that she had an extreme builder and it's like, it's not just because of shipping. It's like they get overwhelmed in general. It's, it's bringing in a lot of people and all the people have questions. And so of course we do our best as the coach, you know, right through COVID and stuff. I think I had like three, four, five extreme builders on my first one and two levels. I mean, it was insane. And it's like, and many of them are, are already gone and I knew to watch out for it, you know? And so part of it is you just can't control it. You know, there are different types of distributors. Um, well, there's some, first of all, of course, there's just customers. We need them. We need those subscriptions. We want our happy customers. A lot of our, you know, people are customers, but the bulk of our volume as we grow will need to come from distributors and really from leaders, which I've only really recently learned are really different than distributors. But even of distributors, some are just part-time, you know, they, they really just want to do this on their own terms with a couple of hours they have a day or even less, and they just want to do it sometimes, they're very happy to make their investment back. They're thrilled to make manager. They'd love to make four or 500 bucks a month. 300 is great. And they're fine. And, and that's great. There's, that's wonderful. You have to kind of understand though, that there are different types of distributors to begin with. Not everyone who comes into the funnel as wanting to, you know, build a business really wants to build the kind of business that you're hoping that they want to build. Right. And then there are some that, you know, are, are, um, social distributors. There are some people that are on the team because they love to be part of something. 
do you guys have those girls that are like always helpful in the chats and answering questions and they love to come to the event they come to every event they barely make manager maybe silver manager they sponsor a little bit here and there but they will never quit because you've created such a great culture um, of community that they want to be part of that i mean people rarely quit a family it takes an extreme scenario right in, in real life for people to quit families and when you you have a team that feels like that that some distributors are social and you need to make sure that you make room for them too some are seasonal and it don't necessarily mean like seasonal like i've asked my daughter to bring this wreath in three times three times she told me that she would bring it in you see that wreath is still in the car i don't mean seasonal like that season seasonal just for a season and some of those covid people i mean when we grew, they were home because they weren't at work. And so they had the bandwidth because they weren't nursing or teaching to do this, right? Um, see, sometimes the extreme builders, that's a seasonal thing. They have this burst of energy. They want to go. They go through all their people, but they really don't want to do it for the long haul. And I'm not saying all of them. I'm just saying we, we can't save everyone, right? And, you know, Kendra, you were saying, or I don't, maybe it was Tammy. I think it was Kendra. You know, you've got, or maybe it was Kimberly one of you was saying, you know, you have this, and I'm sure you can all relate to this though. Then you've got these current people that you know could do things, but you don't feel like you can motivate them. You know, there's definitely time to motivate your team and, and make sure your extreme builders don't quit and all that good stuff. That's important. That's important. But at least from my perspective, and at least in my experience, January 9th, I looked up my, had my rep look up my date for me recently, actually will be nine years for me. I mean, that is a long time to do Zingular, you know, and Zingular itself, what well, just turned 11, right? The other day. Um, so I guess I joined when it was, I don't know how that works, just about two years old. Um, it's just, it is, that's where I feel like the personal sponsoring is so important to bring all the people in, in the first place. I love focusing on IPAs. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that is necessary, but there's like only so much point. Oh, Hillary, you want to mute yourself again? You've been really, really quiet. But now that I just realized you're not, what it, if you need to like yell at someone, I don't know if she lives with someone she wants to yell at. Um, there's only, you know, there's only so much that that can do without personal sponsoring. Now, of course, well, Jennifer, I thought IPAs were to get you to more personal sponsoring. Well, it, it, they are. And that's the other thing about income producing activities. You know, some of these things that I do daily as well, I know you guys are doing them, you know, adding to your Facebook friends list, inviting them to the testimony pages and following up. Don't forget also though, that you can't just wait for people to come to you, even though you're doing, 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 posting, 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 inviting friends. It's still, there's this wait mentality. A lot of singular distributors have like, I'll put this worm on a hook and I hope someone, I hope someone comments, you know what, what about being proactive and thinking about the people that you know and Eric Worre has a really good it's called uh, it's, it's his memory jogger is the name of the pdf and it like walks you through all these different areas in your life that you've met people before and it's like it helps you remember like okay that one realtor she was so annoying but she was so good at what she did I bet she knows a lot of people I should reach out to her I keep uh, years and years later, I'm still trying to get this one news anchor that I know from Fox News. She always answers me and we're friends because we had met a couple of times. She won't bite the bullet. But, you know, thinking about people with big circles, reaching out to people that, you know, are go getters. Right. And saying, hey, I'm sure you've seen on Facebook. I've been doing this thing. And I think you'd be so great on the team. And, you know, I don't know if this message seems annoying to you or not, but I'm absolutely just dying for you to take a look. If I sent you a link at what I'm doing, would you check it out? Would you be willing to hop on the phone call with me? Could I text you something about it? I want to do, I want to do this with you. It's so fun. You know, you can be, be proactive, but the income reducing activities, which I do that you do all the time too, following up, following up, you know, part of what Kala told me this, Kala Stadel, who's one of, one of my coaches and probably yours, isn't she, aren't you in her downline too, Melissa? Like everyone in the company is under Kala. Um, she said, you know, part of what people probably don't realize about you, Jennifer, when you hear, I'm trying to get that sun out to see you better. Um, so that but they don't realize, because I had like, I had 78 new starts last month, for example. And I mean, that's a lot. That's even a lot for me. You know, I usually get between 30 and 40, like 20 would be a bad month for me. And it's just something that I'm, I'm very strong at. But Kala said, you know, Jennifer, people probably just don't realize like absolutely how many people you are reaching out to and following up with, you know, Kendra, I don't want to call you out in an awkward way, but it's like, when you said, oh, I've got these 10 people on whatever, whatever, like, I don't even know if I have a one in 10 closing ratio. So there might not be anything wrong with your closing. 
you give me 10 people who say they might want to order, I might be hard pressed to go in and actually be able to close them. Now, there's certain things that I would do, you know, I love to ask questions, get people talking about themselves. Hey, remind me, how much did you say you wanted to lose? I don't want to get back into, should I send you the info again? Info, info, info. Nobody ever is inspired by info. Have you ever heard someone say, these bed sheets are amazing. You know why I bought them? The infographic at the bedroom sheet store was just like hooked me. No, they touched it. They felt it. They saw a commercial. They felt a certain way, right? And so we get them to feel and talk. And I don't talk about info. Will you send me the info again? Sure. How much are you wanting to lose again? Oh, like 30 pounds, 40 if I could. Well, tell me more about that. Why do you want to lose 40 pounds? Well, I got the floor off my grandkids. How many grandkids do you have? Well, I have three. Do you want to see a picture? Of course I want to see a picture. How would it feel to you to be able to get back on the floor with them and play with them? What would that do for you? I mean, it would. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. All for clumped. It would be great. I would love it. Okay. Gosh, you know what? How's your energy and pain? I, I do have headaches. I don't sleep that well. I just, I think you need our Ignite system. Listen, this is a friend of mine who, who had the similar results as you. Look at her before and after picture. And I'll grab a picture from my testimony page, right? Because mine's not going to inspire her. Maybe because I'm whatever, younger and had a lot more to lose. She lost 40 pounds and she was a grandma just like you. You know, I know, I know, but it's so expensive. <sighs> but you know what they say? Cheap things aren't good and good things aren't cheap. Now, let me ask you this. What kind of results would you have to have from that Ignite pack for it to be worth it to you? I mean, I mean, if I felt better, probably if I even just lost like 15 pounds, it'd probably be worth it. You'd be surprised what they say when you ask them that. Okay. Well, gosh, have I told you that we have a 45 day trial period? You can't even risk anything. You don't love it or you do love it. And your husband wants the money back. You can get it. Oh, I guess that's okay. I can walk you through ordering right now. Or if you have a second, I can just give you a quick call. Which one of those works better? Oh, I don't know. I got to ask my husband. Okay, well, when will he be home? I'll call that. I'll, you know, I'll circle back to you. Well, not till late. Okay. Would it be okay if I followed up with you tomorrow? Yes, yes, that would be great. Well, I'm going to the library in the morning, like in the afternoon. Okay, just two o'clock work? Sure. Okay, I'll send you a message at two o'clock. I mean, that's an example of an interaction that I would be having with someone. I'm asking them questions. I'm talking about them. I'm caring about their grandkids. I do care about them, right? It's not the proprietary plan and here it is and here's the packages. I'm really wanting to talk to them personally. But here's the other thing. I'm doing that with hundreds of people. And a lot of them are ghosting me on my prospect list, which I can't show you because it's on my phone, which is sitting on my steering wheel, but I have shared notes, you know, so I could keep it in there and my assistant can see it too. Now my friend has her teenage daughter do this. I mean, you can do it too. You don't have to have an assistant do it. I just, now that I run a 2 million point a month business, I can't do all the things that I need to do. Right. And so I have to like leverage my time and do high leverage activities. And so someone else can send messages. I just give them a password. I got no secrets. All my secrets I did have, my haters already found them. So they're already out there. And so I got, oh, you can go in there, send messages. Hey, hey, okay. Do you want, do you still want to get started? How's it going? Remind me how much do you want to lose? Happy December. And she'll just send, 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 send. And then she archives them, archives them, archives them. So then if they answer, they come back to the inbox. Ding! Jennifer's up to bat. Now when they answer, right, she's just sending my message for me. She doesn't talk to them. She sends it. I say, send this for the December message. And literally December was like, you know, have a, hope you're having a great December. Or well, I, did, I haven't sent many. We just started December. We did start sending some. Of course, Black Friday, Thanksgiving. Then when they pop to the top, okay, there they are. And I'm going to have this conversation. Remind me about you. Tell me about you. How many, but listen, Kendra, I don't, I don't necessarily think I close one in 10. So it may not be about your closing as much as it is now with nine years, I've had hundreds of people. Well, how are you going to get hundreds of people? Well, unless you're to 5,000 Facebook friends, 5,000, then you, you, that's what you need to go do first. Okay. If you need to make part of your account, you know, you could set your friends to like close friends and then you can show the pictures of the kids and grandkids there and whatever friends, that's fine too. Okay. You can set them. And so when you post something with your granddaughter, you know, naked in the kitchen sink, taking a bath, you can actually say show post in a visibility. You can say close friends. So only they see it. Now I will caution you against don't only put business stuff though to the other people. They want to see that you're a real person too. You just may not want them to see like the grand, the naked grandkid. Right. So there's like still be real, still share recipes and family stuff. But if, if that concerns you, I just have it all. I'm just an open book, you know? Um, but 5,000 Facebook friends is the limit. So unless you have that, you should be adding aggressively. I went to a convention once. I have a, I do have a hard stop in four minutes. I have another Inspire call. Melissa and I generally didn't talk about how long this was going to be. I just kind of assumed half an hour. So um, 
I went to a convention by Grant Cardone and he wrote the book called the 10 X rule. And his convention was called the 10 X and basically he's a realtor. He's in real, not a realtor. He's in real estate. I don't even know. Right. He's not like, doesn't do what we do, but he sells, he's gregarious with people. He makes a lot of money and his, and I'm going to give you a second to ask a couple questions about what I've said. Whole mantra is like, take, if you're not having the results that you want right now with what you're doing, whether it's working out, exercising, your relationship with how clean your green wall is or how, how, how many points you have or how many managers you have or how many personal sponsoring do you, if you're not having the results that you're having right now, take the activities that you know you need to be doing. Just take a couple of them. Just, heck, just take one of them. And that could be an IPA, right? Reaching out to new people, follow-ups, inviting new friends, whatever it is. Pick one that you and Melissa or your coach agree is a, an important one and 10 exit for a short but sustained period of time. And that would be like a week or nine days. What do I mean by 10 X? I mean, if you follow up with 10 people a day, usually you follow up with a hundred. I'm not kidding. And you do it for a week and it's intense and it takes effort and you have to decide that you want to do it, but those efforts will launch you. It's like an airplane taking off. If it just goes like down the runway, it's never going to get up enough speed to take off. But if it just goes really fast for a short period of time, and then you tip those wings, now it's taking off and you're soaring. So you can apply that to working out, whatever, you know, just do your arms crazy for like a week and just burn the heck out of them and then let them heal. And they're going to be bigger questions, thoughts, comments, Kendra. What was the name of that book? The 10, 10 X, the 10 X rule, the 10 X rule by, by Grant, 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 Grant. C-A-R-D-O-N-E. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Is this resonating with you guys? What are you wishing I would have covered or wanting to say or ask? Oh God, we love everything you say. <laughs> I mean, it's just, and I think the way, and this is why I wanted you, because the way you train is you don't just say, oh, you should do this, you should do this. You just went through a whole scenario that um, to show them exactly how to do it. And every time I listen to you, I get something out of it. So it's not just them. I'm thankful that you came on for me as well. Well, I love you guys. And I do. I love Zingular and training and our teams. And we are all one big team. I always could like cry thinking about it. I could have more time. You're welcome, Kimberly. Have a great appointment at therapy, um, at physical therapy. Not that other kind of therapy is wrong. I've definitely done it. Um, <laughs> I, I could go on and on, but I am. Um, keep plugging into Melissa. Of course, you know how to access our team stuff if you want as well. Um, and hopefully see you in San Diego and maybe some of you sooner in um, where we went, Mexico. So. We'll see how it all works out though. Either way, this is my gig and I hope you guys uh, stick around. Congrats on your success. You're welcome. You're really welcome. Bye Thank you guys. You. Love you. Yes, Thank you. Love you. Be well. Be safe. Merry Christmas. Yes, you too.